Hi friends, this is Shinu. Happy to have you all back in my channel Flavors of Life. Today I'm going to make some chutney recipes for my favorite breakfast dosa. And it is red and green chutney and that's coconut chutney, a little variation in it. If you're watching me for some time right now, you will know how crazy I am about dosas. And occasionally I would like to give a little twist to my chutneys like this. So let's see how I make it. We'll start off with the red chutney. To a thawa, add around 1 tablespoon of oil and goes in 2 tablespoon of chana dal. This is very important in the red, red chutney. I have made little variations, more or less it's the same. And then goes in few curry leaves. And then a small piece or a small clove of garlic. And then 3 or 4 red chilies according to your spice level. My red chilies are very spicy so just 3. Roast it up until it's brown, aromatic, whatever terms you want to use. As you can see it's done for me because I can definitely smell a great aroma from it. So to the next step, it's very easy. So the next step is to a blender we are going to add around quarter cup of grated coconut. I don't have fresh. You can use even fresh. And to that goes in the roasted mixture and of course the salt. Then grind it up into a fine paste or a coarse mixture as you want with enough water and one chutney is done and on to the next one the green one to the same mixer I've taken around quarter cup of grated coconut two green chilies a small piece of ginger and then goes in one clove of garlic and a handful of fresh coriander leaves instead of coriander leaves you can definitely use pudina leaves also to this chutney goes in around quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds and of course salt and enough water to grind it into a coarse mixture I would say. Just add water and grind it and here it is in minutes. The next chutney is also ready. As you can see both the chutneys are waiting for more love. You know what? We are going to temper it. Yes, add around uh, 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil again to the same tawa. Add mustard seeds and let's wait for it to pop and make some noise. That's done. We are going to add in around uh, 1 tablespoon, I would say, urud dal. This is optional. If you want, you can add it or you can just leave it. Give it a little, little mix. I am using a metal spoon, but don't worry. I will never touch the bottom of the pan because all my vessels are like my babies. I will never scratch them. And that's ready. It goes in little curry leaves. And the tempering is ready. We are going to add it into the chutneys. And as you can see, how vibrant is that? I've added the same tempering for both the chutneys. If you want, you can make it in a different thing and add it. And these are my vibrant yumminess going in with the dosas for my breakfast today. These are two of the chutney variations I use to make my breakfast, dinner or whatever interesting. I know it's definitely going to get a little boring when you use the same coconut chutney for idlis and dosas and etc etc. So try these variations. I'm sure you're going to love it to the bits. And that's all for today. I'll come up with more chutney recipes. Until then, thank you for watching and consider subscribing. You know what to do. Stay healthy, stay happy and bye bye for now.